everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. In this video, I will be explaining how to set up the remarketing tag for third party remarketing with display ads using your Google Shopping products. So what we need to do is install a remarketing tag on your website. Then we will discuss how to um, set up the parameters, ensuring that you have the correct parameters for your website and also what you need to do to set up a campaign. So let's start from the beginning. Your first step is to create or generate the remarketing tag. You can do this by going into your shared libraries when you're logged into Google AdWords, which is normally here below in the left hand corner. And then you click on audiences. You then choose website visitors and click on setup remarketing. What we want to do is enable people will get different ads based on the products or services they viewed on your website and then you select for retail. Then you can click on setup remarketing. Please note that you already have to have a Google Merchant account for this to work or connect your Google Merchant account with your Google AdWords account. Once you've set it up, you can then see the remarketing tag for your website. The most important elements are these three sections, which is the product ID, the page type and the total value. These need to be unique per page, as in they must be relevant to what the visitor is viewing to your website for the display remarketing to work correctly. So what you do is you copy this code and you place it onto every page on your website. Now you can use a, you know, a special script or you can contact your web developer how to integrate this system, but you need to ensure that these three are unique. Now you might ask, what are the different types of values that you can enter in there? So let's go to the uh, console developer uh, for um, remarketing tags. So here we can see again, we've got Ecom product ID, which is the ID of your product, the page type and the total value. If you have one product uh, as a product ID listed on their website, you simply add the number in there. Do note that if it's a uh, variable, which means no numbers inside, then you need to put it into single quotes as demonstrated here. If you have multiple products on your website, for example, on a checkout or in your cart basket, then you need to put it in straight brackets so that you can show Google that there are multiple products within the checkout. Now let's move on to the page type. The page type needs to be uh, relevant to what the website represents. So if it is the home page, then inside here you need to type in home. Same goes for search results, category pages, the product page, the cart, uh, the purchase, which is the um, thank you page. So once the uh, payment is made so that Google knows that the customer has already paid. If, for example, we do not have a purchase page, then what happens is that Google will not identify if a customer has already paid for a product and thus show the ad constantly to this customer, which in this case we don't really want to do because we want to target customers that have not yet paid, uh, made a purchase on your website. The total value, again, simply without the currency code, uh, you add in the value there. You can also add the e-com category, which is something that is not shown into the normal uh, tag example within AdWords. But if you um, look below, you can actually add your own categorization. This is very useful to give Google an indication as in to which category to map. Because what Google does is it collects all the information and shows relevant ads. So it's not going to show you socks when you are looking for a hammer. So if you show, for example, home and garden, then 
Google will most likely show ads relevant to home and garden or if you go into more specific categories. So this is a complete code as you can see. So you simply replace your variable for Google Tag parameters inside here and you copy everything and install it on your website. I will show you um, the link in the description what, where, where you can find this page because this is very useful for if you want to read more because it also shows you about uh, all the other types of um, businesses but as we are e-commerce businesses selling online um, we are, I'm just going to cover this. Once you've done that we will go and create a new remarketing list. This to ensure that we can eliminate non-converters with converters. So what we do is we click on website visitors. We just give it a name, non-converters. We use a custom combination. We select each of these audiences and select the audiences. And what we want to do is all visitors. Okay. Then click on add another. None of these audiences. All the converters. Okay. So now we are actually targeting customers that have um, visited your website but not purchased and then we just click on save now let's start and create a campaign what we need to do is go to the red button saying plus campaign and we choose display network just give it a name and we want to choose buy on your website. Select your target country. For now, I'm going to choose manual bidding and set a daily budget. The most important element within the options is all the way at the bottom you see advanced settings we want to choose dynamic ad settings click on people will get different ads based on products or services they viewed on your site select the business type which is retail select your feed which is your google merchant feed and then save and continue Give it a ad group and a minimum bid and choose interest and remarketing for your targeting method. Select category. From the remarketing list, you then choose your campaign, which is all non-converters. Now it's not listed in here because it's a different account, but all you have to do is just click on the arrow here which will be added to your remarketing list and then click on save and continue here you can see samples of your ads how they will be shown on third-party websites you can see that there is uh, two options you can choose your own layout or let AdWords pick it for you I recommend you choose that AdWords choose it for you because it will uh, choose the colors the theme and the sizing and everything based on the website uh, so that it shows it within the styling of the website uh, making it more uniformly um, this is very useful um, I don't think a lot of people would choose their own layout because um, it's it's you know it doesn't always fit with every website it might look very weird um, so here you can then add your logo your headline text 
and uh, you can see how it looks like on different types of ads these are all the different ones that Google will be showing and etc then simply click on save ads and then it will save it um, and that is pretty much as because I have not uploaded the logo it will not show it but that's pretty much how um, your ad creation for display ads uh, can be set up um, and that's pretty much uh, it actually and if you have any questions related to this uh, uh, subject please leave a comment below I'm much than happy uh, to explain everything thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time